Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosca. We're here at IT Expo Miami 2013, and I'm joined today by Amakava McCurgy, CEO of Redshift Networks. Thanks for joining yes. us today. Hi there, Noah. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. So Thank tell you. us a little bit about Redshift. Um, so we're a company in the security business, and specifically in the cloud communication security business. Mm -hmm. So we've developed a next generation product. We're seeing a lot of attacks in a lot of these VoIP carriers and anyone that's implementing VoIP around the world. So what we've done is built a product that looks like a firewall, an appliance-based or virtual-based product that you can sit inside your cloud. It complements the session border controller and the soft switches. And we're seeing this huge set of attacks on a global basis. So we have customers in the US, in Europe, in Asia, and Latin America. And who exactly are your customers? Can we talk a little bit about the markets, different verticals? Sure, so we're targeted focused on the VoIP carriers. So basically, it's, if you look at the VoIP carriers, they're tier three, tier two, tier one carriers. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a lot of tier three carriers now around the US. We're working up our way up into tier two and tier ones. We have a couple of tier ones in Europe in Latin America and in the US, a couple of tier twos also, but that's the focus actually. It's, it's, it's anyone that's providing IP VoIP service to their customers, whether it be video or VoIP. Uh, especially video in the cloud is also moving very interestingly. Absolutely. Voice over LTE is something interesting because all the phones, the cell phones are all SIP endpoints. Mm -hmm. So all the attacks that we're seeing in the VoIP carriers today will migrate into these large mobile operators. So that becomes an incredibly exciting opportunity for us. Absolutely, also. and I mean, at IT Expo in general, we just have, we have a, a very large presence in terms of cloud services, and mm -hmm. obviously security is a very large part of that, which is what you guys provide. So right. please tell us a little bit about the importance of, of how you're able to um, offer that for your customers so that they can provide that same security for their end customers. For their customers, right. So what we've seen what's interesting is that when people or custom voice or IP vendors, when they start out their network, they're all talking about quality of service and they're looking how to provide the serve, best of service to the customers. So security is sort of an afterthought, right? That's typical, you know, when you're first building out your phone network, you talk about um, quality of service. But now what's happening is because you have a lot of new applications, you have iPads, iPhones, yeah. all these presence, conferencing, collaboration applications. So that's enabled for these attackers to get into these networks. Right. So especially all these networks are on the cloud. So it's easy for these hackers because all the customers are out on IP addresses in a broadband network. And so it's easier for the hackers to attack these networks. Toll fraud is supposed an $80 billion problem. Almost every carrier in the world is losing money on toll fraud. Uh, we've seen massive DDoS attacks, botnet attacks, um, all sorts of attacks. We protect against 40,000 different attacks wow. in this space. So it's a really broad environment. And so what we've done is we've developed technology, we've patented our technology, and we look at behavior analysis of users, networks, and it's a very deep analysis product that looks very focused on VoIP. And we built this, and we patented it, as mentioned, and it's now we're selling to a lot of large operators. Um, unfortunately, you know, it's something like security is just an issue that people have to consider now because right. they just can't think, oh, I'm protected, I have an SBC. Mm -hmm. um, the attacks are getting more and more sophisticated. We have an ability, so when we see an attack in Paris, we have systems in Paris and Italy and in London, we can protect nodes in LA or Miami or San Francisco. So the, use, the, the whole notion is how do I globally protect these networks, just like your McAfee. Mm -hmm. so what happens when you McAfee, you download a vir an iVirus, and that, that attack happens somewhere else in the world, so your local computer can protect it. So we're sort of the McAfee of a VoIP, but for VoIP operators, sure. right? And I mean, obviously, security is very, very important, and, it, and it's mm -hmm. an issue that is always in the back of people's minds when they're getting ready to implement cloud services into their mm -hmm. systems. But I have to say, just in terms of a trend perspective, that mm -hmm. from last year, I think that people are less concerned with security in terms of they know that it's reliable, and providers like yourself will be able to you know, offer them the solutions mm -hmm. that can help them to, to do things and be re reliable enough to everything be secure. So do you see that as being a trend as well in terms of people kind of relinquishing that control and knowing that you guys have it covered? Well, the thing is, I think what's really interesting is that um, in the last, we've been tracking this for about four years now. So the yeah. company's about four years old. And in the first two years, we never saw a lot of attacks. It's just typical, mm -hmm. um, not people talked about a lot of attacks. But in the last year or so, um, we've seen huge attacks in VoIP. So the trend is actually doubling. So every year we're seeing um, hundreds of thousands more attacks. Right. It was interesting when we actually built our solution, we thought, okay, we'd see 10 attacks a day. We're seeing hundreds of thousands just in a day in any given carrier. Wow. So, and that's growing rapidly. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's, it's an environment that typically when you have an underlying technology, um, like web services or databases where there was a lot of attacks on people stealing MasterCard, credit yeah. card numbers, there was a lot of anti-spam, of course. So when you have those kind of environments, there's times when hackers get window what's available, and they start attacking these of networks, course. right? So carriers really have to look at this very carefully. Um, they can't second guess this or 
uh, think that a provider will provide them the services because the attacks are more acute and new today. Right. And that's what the ability to really keep up with the trends of new attacks and look at it from a global perspective, not just on your single node. No. Especially in carriers, if their voice system goes down, their business goes down because that's the core business, right? We have an, a customer that we're working with out of New York that had a massive attack. Customers were fleeing them every day because their networks were down and they couldn't handle it. So that's the danger that right. we see. So it's just an, any company, if you're an enterprise, you know, when you're building an enterprise, you always think about antivirus, you always think about a firewall, you won't live without that in your network. So we just want carriers to have that understanding and look at VoIP security protocols that can provide them security for their network. But you're absolutely right. I mean, obviously, attacks are not the same in different areas mm -hmm. and everything's constantly changing. So right. it right. definitely presents a, a very uh, large issue that you guys are able to overcome. Right. Just in terms of looking towards the future, I mean, you mentioned a, a couple of different trends in terms of mobility and moving mm -hmm. to, you know, a more mobile solution as well as um, just, you know, progressing. So mm -hmm. what do you see as, as being the next step for, <coughs> for Redshift? In the mobile. So that's an area that we're really looking at right now because yeah. um, as um, a lot of the carriers like Verizon and AT&T and have now LTE networks, look, um, mm -hmm. LTX networks, they're also going to technology called voice over LTE, yes. which basically the phone becomes a SIP endpoint. Mm -hmm. And so that's really interesting because now you have 100 million users and we're working typically with tier two, tier three carriers mm -hmm. that typically have half a million, million, two million, three million users. But now we've got to scale our product to handle those large networks. So that's where we're moving towards. So we closed our first mobile operator, which is exciting for us. It's a small operator, but it's pretty interesting. So 10 million users. And we see a global opportunity for yeah, that. Because absolutely. again, they're opening these networks up to IP. And unfortunately, people don't understand IP is it's good, it's fantastic, it's wonderful, but unfortunately it's also, you have to secure and plug all the holes. So that's what's really a lot of carriers starting to realize that. And we're, our job is also make sure that people get educated about that because a lot of people don't understand security. They think that encryption is security or some basic firewall is security, but no, security is very deep and you really have to understand it to be able to understand what to implement, how to really secure a network. Sure. Right? Yeah, of course, and I mean, obviously this, that puts you guys at a, a very, there's a lot of opportunity in terms of, right. you know, the different markets that you can move into. So, I mean, you have your work cut out for you, clearly. Yes, <laughs> so I'm always on a plane all over the world. I can so imagine. It's been fun because it's always, um, it's gratifying when you see that, you know, something that you you think about and build, sure. people are really liking it. And so, as an entrepreneur and as a, as a business person, it's fantastic. And we're here to really help customers and make sure they, they help themselves and of course they help their own customers also right? well That's we're really we're here for. and we're really glad that you were able to you know make it to itx for this week to share that with us so no thanks, thank so you and thanks for your time yeah also. thanks so much for being here today rich has done an incredible job job with the tmc so i'm really excited to be here also appreciate the feedback thank okay. you thank you